This uh, shade is called Slutty Brown. I take all of my um, life tips from uh, Kylie Jenner, who is the youngest member of the Kardashian family. Kris Jenner can't have any more children. God. Now, face wash is very important because you want to basically start with a clean base whenever you're putting makeup on for your shows. And Kylie Jenner's suggestion is that um, um, we wash our faces with walnuts. So I've got a bag of walnuts here. Um, and basically just take a handful of them and just rub them on your face like this. And it really invigorates um, the skin and the, the longing that we have for attention. Um, and then once you're done, just like throw them away and let someone else clean it up. So once you've started with a clean base, another tip is um, makeup because why would anyone want to see the real you when you can make a different version of yourself? I work within an industry that is obsessed with youth and Kylie Jenner at the age of 42 has managed to make herself look at only 32 um, and that's um, through well walnuts and makeup that only she sells and I think that's very inspirational for someone like me. She's not 32. How old is she? 21. She looks older than me! I really feel like this year is my time to go viral. I've had a great idea. I'm going to get naked on Instagram for the first time. My mother said to me when I moved to London, two things. Number one, don't get naked. And number two, don't say the C word. Um, I won't be saying the uh, C word, but unfortunately my mother isn't on Instagram and she can't see how successful it is for a woman like me to take all of my clothes off, full gunshot, get a black marker pen and then write the words brave on my skin. So that'll be the, the, the next thing that I do after this makeup tutorial. As a vegan, I don't really drink because it's not very, it's not a good look for, for the average Instagrammer or a successful independent woman person to show flaws like drinking. <laughs> I'm not doing things like that. I'm, I'm so sorry if any of you drink, but that's not what I do. I'm a friend of the earth. I just take a bit of red here. People don't use enough red eyeshadow, I'll be honest. You just take it right round, because like, I've seen all the kids nowadays, all the teenagers, and they're all dressed like retro future 80s strippers. And I think it's a real vibe right now. I get real bad chafing between my legs. I'm a real victim of, of, of chafing. And in fact, when it's hot and sunny, it's real bad for me. And I'd really like it if you didn't bring this stuff up. Now, what I'm doing here is, um, to be an, a successful woman nowadays, it's probably best to like make your eye makeup as big as possible to remove all features. Look at that look I've got here. It looks like someone's punched me in the face. And of course someone would have punched me in the face for something that's not my fault. I, myself, I don't do anything wrong because I'm female. But what I do is psychological trauma, but it's not illegal. Basically, feminism is makeup specifically the makeup that I sell. This is a, 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 a colour that I have here, it's called Feminism. And um, if you wear this on your face, then basically all of the patriarchy just dies. If my boyfriend wants me to go up the shops in the rain, then I'll just be like, I'm a feminist, I don't go up the shops in the rain. Also, feminism to me is um, looking at someone like Kylie Jenner and just being really impressed at how easy it's been for someone as uh, you know unfortunate as her to become a billionaire because she's a self-made billionaire I don't know if you know this but like Richard Branson she started with nothing she never took a penny from her parents and I think that's really inspirational for for young young women like myself in the 60s, when you had like protests and stuff, and like even further back than that, like first wave feminism, they were like chaining themselves to like railings and like marching and stuff. But then now, fourth wave feminism, you don't have to do any of that stuff. You can literally like go on the internet, take a photograph, put it on the internet and just say what you want to say. And that's feminism. Um, I've got to put some lipstick on. Now, what I've chosen here, this uh, shade is called Slutty Brown. Lips are the windows to the soul. And if your lips just aren't big enough, if you can't afford fillers, if you can, like, just get some fillers, you get your little wand, right? And you just take it and you just make your lips bigger. Thin lips are not in vogue at the moment. 
See, you may think that that's big enough, but it's not. Even if you're feeling insecure, just take the brush and with every stroke, I want that confidence to just fill you like adrenaline. There is nothing worse than having small lips. Seriously, I lost a sister to cancer and I'd rather go through that again than have small lips. This is what a feminist looks like. If I'm gonna be humble, there's probably one thing that I haven't smashed when it comes to feminism. It's this accent. You're not, you're not listening to me about feminism, are you? <laughs> not this accent. <laughs> I mean, like, you trust me to go and, like, be a pirate in the seas or something like that, but you're not trusting this accent with feminism, are you? So my next tutorial will be teaching you all about how, if you're a Bristolian or if you've got an accent, about how to get rid of that so people start listening to you.